Welcome back to County Connection for our December episode. Uh, we are back with Megan Castle from CDOT who just shared with us some great information on the upcoming uh, Mountain Express Lane on I-70. And now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about the traction law, um, mm -hmm. which is um, there are some a few changes in the works in terms of uh, restrictions during winter weather this year. So um, Megan, tell mm -hmm. us what is the traction law? So the traction law, or Code 15, has actually been on the books for several years now, and CDOT's focusing on implementing it in the Mountain Corridor to keep everybody safe. Okay, and so um, the uh, what are the requirements of the traction law? Um, and again, people may not have may not be aware of it um, because it hasn't been enforced to this uh, the degree that it will be this winter. Sure. So motors are going to start to see. Uh, the traction law or code 15 and you can see it if you're driving there'll be roads roadway signage you'll also be able to see it on cotrip.org um, cotrips c dot mountain radio will be talking about it you okay. can call 511 um, you can also sign up to get email or text alerts to let you know if the code 15 or the traction law has been put into place and what it means is that as vehicles that are on the road will need to have um, either all-wheel drive or they will have to have snow tires or mud and snow tires. And with all of those, they have to have tires that have a minimum of one eighth of an inch of tread. All right, and so uh, many folks might already have these tires, but not necessarily mm -hmm. know it. So how would you know if you have tires that um, allow you to comply with the traction law? Well, if you wanna check out the minimum uh, one eighth width uh, requirement you can take a, you can do the quarter test so you uh -huh. take a quarter and you take um, George's head and you insert it you can do it multiple spots on the tire and okay. if George's head goes in and you upside down upside down uh -huh. right and you just see tread you don't see his head then you're good to go but if you can see any of his head then you are not going to be in compliance and it's likely that you're probably going to need some new winter tires all right and uh, and so what if your tires mm -hmm. don't meet the requirement mm -hmm. and the traction law is in effect, well, then what do you need to comply? Sure, you need an alternative traction device. So that could be chains. And also is, that may be new to folks is called an auto sock. So either one of those, and the auto sock is easier to put on than chains. And those, either one of those will allow vehicles to comply with the law. Right, and, uh, and through our partners, mm -hmm. the I-70 Coalition, they mm -hmm. are, um, they've kind of um, got a great little program in place this winter that's gonna increase um, access to right. the auto sock. Um, and so, and I think, I don't know, do you recall, is it um, maybe half a dozen uh, auto shops throughout the corridor that are gonna be yeah. um, offering that? So actually, you can go to um, CDOT's website. It's winter.codt.gov okay. forward slash tires. There you'll see a map of all the tire distributors or stores that are going to be involved in this program that are going to be selling um, discounts. And so you can also find out about the auto sock and chains there too. All right, great. And uh, so that's good to know whether you're in the Front Range or in Summit County mm -hmm. and the weather is not looking great, then um, you'll be able to find some of those um, retailers who will be able to get you a set of auto socks. Right, and it's best to get that before you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what can happen to drivers that aren't complying with the law when the traction law is in effect? Right, so when the traction law is in effect, what will happen is that drivers who are not in compliance, if their tire tread is not meeting the eighth inch um, requirement, they could face a fine of more than $130. Okay. In addition, so a lot steeper than um, than we've seen in the past. Right, and in addition to that, if that vehicle without proper equipment is in an incident where the roadway is blocked, they could also be fined up to six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So these this is new, and we want to make sure that folks are getting the message and they understand what the traction law is, and and also for people to have tires that are meeting the requirements because motorists that don't have that are not safe for themselves and they're not safe for others out on the road. Right, um, mm -hmm. and, it, uh, and there are some startling statistics I know that you guys have for um, you know, the amount of time that um, 
a, a vehicle is spun out and blocking traffic, mm -hmm. that that effect ripples all the way back many times over in terms of the delays that causes. Right, absolutely. So we're hoping that with implementing the traction law, that this will help to reduce those type of inconveniences and certainly nobody wins with those situations. Right, definitely. Um, so let's see. Um, what else? Uh, oh, so we know that um, that tires are a big expense, mm -hmm. um, and so um, so what should people be thinking about in terms of? Oh, gosh, this is kind of a a big chunk of change out of my wallet this winter to get the MS MS tires or the snow tires. Right. Well, to get the mud and snow tires or the snow tires, yes, it could be. Um, it, it will be an investment in your transportation. Um, however, you're not safe to yourself or to others without them. And again, mm -hmm. you can go to find a map of all the um, stores that are gonna be offering discounts on these tires. And that's something that folks can take advantage of. And it's at that website, it's winter.codt.gov forward slash tires. Okay. And by there, you can go there and you can get um, connected with a dealer and find a deal that works for you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, well, we'll look forward to hopefully fewer traffic jams this winter. Um, is there anything else that you would li like to add about the traction law or anything right. else people should be aware of on I-70 this winter? Well, in addition to the code 15 or the traction law is also the code 16. Oh, and okay. that means that all vehicles, no matter four wheel drive or all wheel drive, will need to have either the auto sock or the chains or that alternative traction device. And okay. that will be put in typically as the last resort prior to the highway being shut down, but drivers need to be aware that that can also happen. Okay, so that's really another level mm -hmm. beyond um, code 15. That's correct, okay. and that's also new this year. So CDOT's trying to get the word out on both code 15 and code 15 that track those traction laws. All right, sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, great, well thanks so much Megan. Um, Thank you. Thanks for coming all mm -hmm. the way up here from Denver <laughs> and um, sharing all this great information with us so that we can be sure to get around more safely and efficiently this winter. Great, thank you. All right, stick with us. We're gonna take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about how you can make it through flu season. I think right. you've got a career. You can uh, oh. go, go um, to Hollywood, Julie. <laughs> I 